What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to read your thralls stats and attributes and everything like that because there has been a change to the way that those numbers are displayed in their stats page. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you should know is there's actually two pages that you have to look at in order to get all the information for your thrall and pet. The first one is going to be just opening their inventory. And this is going to show you the level, the amount of experience, the hit points, and the armor value for your thrall. This is also where you are going to equip armor or put things in their inventory. If we do a hard press on the thrall with the interact button, we get the stats option. So if we look at the stats option, we can see any effects that the thrall is under. It also gives us the information about their attributes. So as you can see, this thrall has 25 in strength and 30 in vitality. Everything else is zeroed. And then it has growth percent chances. These are always random. They come out of the box a little bit different every time, but, uh, for this particular thrall, it always comes out with 25 strength and 30 vitality. Moving down, you can see what the attributes in this section actually equate to on your thrall. So you can see the strength melee damage bonus is 20% and the vitality health bonus is 3,250 hit points. Now, if we equip the thrall with some armor, this armor is the Flawless Hyperborean Slaver, the Epic Flawless Hyperborean Slaver. And if we simply look at the uh, first page that I showed you, the inventory page, you can see it has 863 armor. And if we go back to the stats page, you can see this, gi this armor gives a 9-point bonus to strength. So you can see it's still 25 plus nine so it reads just like your own attributes if you had buffs or armor that were giving you different uh points in different attributes it now reads just like that before it used to add these two numbers together for a total number here but now you have to do the math it reads just like your attribute page i think that change makes a lot of sense if we scroll down here you can see the strength melee damage bonus is now 28 percent now, when you get perks on your thrall from leveling them up, those perks then go into these green numbers. So each perk uh, that they get will be represented by a green number. Their growth from leveling in and of itself will go into the white numbers. Now the same thing goes for pets. If we take a look at their inventory screen, you can see this pet is level 20. It's maxed out in its uh, experience points and its hit points there. So uh, there are a couple of other things on here that aren't working. There's damage and armor pen. Both of those things are not showing at this point in time. However, it does show you the armor just like it did on the thrall. And this one has 1404. Now, if we go into the stats page, you will see the exact same thing here that you did on the Thrall. So, strength of 27, 29 in agility, 12 in vitality, 10 in accuracy, and 18 in survival. Then you would take and add the green numbers. So, technically, this is 32, this is 39, and this is 13. So if we look at its strength melee bonus here, it is 319%. The accuracy or ranged is 130%. Uh, vitality health bonus is 2,890. Its agility armor bonus is 1,326 of the 1,404 total armor that it has. And then a survival buff time reduction of 29. And here you can see the perks that it got again these perks these numbers here equate to the green numbers over here something that i want to cover real quick if you guys are not up to date and up to speed on this is the food uh, options down here all of these foods will supply different amounts of healing when it's given to them it will also supply them with uh, additional strength or different things uh, for a short period of time so if you feed it human flesh it will get a certain amount of uh, 
HP regeneration per second. And if you feed it gray lotus flower, it'll get a higher percent of uh, HP regeneration. So this is number one. You count across to number five. This would be six. You count across to 10. Number 10 is going to be your best hit point regeneration. And that goes for both pets and thralls. So uh, number 10 is going to be the best. Number one is going to be the lowest. And then each one of them will give them a different amount of learning as well. So if we give them gruel per se, so we'll just give her a single gruel and she should consume that right away. She did. So you can see that is uh, number five there. And if we go into her stats, you can see her strength is increased by 10% and she gets a growth chance of 14%. I think the wiki has all of these uh, different growth percent chances uh, listed. So I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. Now, hopefully I've explained that well enough for everybody to understand. I know when the initial change came out a lot of people freaked out because they felt like their thrall or their pet uh, got nerfed and the points actually got taken away that's not actually what happened the points just got split into two separate categories and so all the points were still there but like I said, hopefully I explained it well enough for everybody to understand and hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.